This is why I drink. Psycho Shark, aka Jaws in Japan, is the film equivalent of one of those outhouses that you find along the side of a long stretch of highway. One that hasn't been maintained in a while, you know? I hate it. And that's a true accomplishment, because I've seen a ton of dumpster fires in my day, and you guys know me. I can find some level of enjoyment in even some of the dumbest films out there, but this? This brings me no joy. But, in order to properly convey why exactly this thing is a disgrace to my soul, I'm gonna have to do deep dive into this movie, and I hesitate to even call it a movie. Do I want to do this? No. But here we go anyway. I'm not gonna lie, with a title like Jaws in Japan, there's a massive ton of potential here to be a perfect shining example of a movie that should fit beautifully into the so bad it's gold category. Even some of the campiest shark movies ever are entertaining at face value, but this? I don't even know where to begin. The opening five minutes of the movie consists of nothing but a chick sitting in the dark watching a home movie of some other chicks at a beach. Yeah, okay, fine, something horrible happened to the girls in the video, right? Something horrible happened to the girl watching the tape, right? There's absolutely no possible way the entire rest of the movie is going to be this slowly paced, right? I mean, right? There's just no way. <laughs> Shark movie that opens with a heavy metal soundtrack. Check that off the B-movie bingo card. And then, nothing. Nothing. And you think I'm joking when I say nothing happens, but I'm dead serious. These two girls ride a truck to a resort, they hang out at a resort, they film themselves at the resort, they talk at the resort, and then repeat the same process for the whole goddamn movie. This entire movie is just a painful experiment in boredom, and how far you're willing to push it before you start plucking out your ball hairs one by one to pass the time. And I mean, suffice it to say, my balls are bald now. This atrocity doesn't even know what style of movie it's even going for. As a plot device, the hotel provides them with a camcorder, so the editing is a god-awful mess of just jumping back and forth between a movie that's shot normally and crap they record off the camera. But the normal footage looks just as shitty as the footage that's supposed to look found footage style, so it's pretty clear they use the same camera throughout the entire movie anyway. There are brief moments where you think something's gonna happen, but then nothing happens. Like this scene where one of the girls is showering, in a bikini for some reason, don't even ask me, and it builds up like with scary music, like something's gonna happen. But nothing happens. What the hell is this anyway? Isn't this supposed to be a fucking shark movie? But get this, they pull the exact same shower scene twice, less than 10 minutes later, and guess what happens this time? Nothing. Oh, but when she goes to open the shower curtain, the movie decides to cut to footage from the tape she found under the bed for a solid four minutes, and then it just cuts back to her for no reason. Okay, sure. Why? At 40 minutes into the movie, a shark finally shows up. I mean, it's just a fin, but goddamn, at least it's something. And then... You son of a bitch. Did you really just pull a Jaws 4 on us? Really? I'm really not joking when I say there's literally not a single ounce of plot in this whole shit biscuit until the last 10 minutes of the movie. And this is a 70 hour movie. And don't worry, it's just as stupid as you'd imagine. Turns out the owners of the resort are murdering people to feed to their shark, to their shark? It never once explains why they do this, unless I zonked out so badly I just missed it. I don't know. But just before one of our lead girls can be killed, her friend runs to her rescue. <laughs> She then somehow pushes the guy into the water, even though he had like a whole hour to see her coming and react. Oh, and he had a knife. Word of advice, don't make your movie's main bad guy the biggest pussy ever, maybe. Just a thought. And now we come to the infamous scene. The one clip that everyone has probably seen. This is the shark. This entire maybe two minute sequence is the entirety of the shark's appearance in this. Once again, 70 minute movie. And all I can say is, thank God it's over. Gotta love how the footage on the camera screen changes size as if one final reminder of how shitty this thing you just sat through was.
I hate Psycho Shark. There's nothing about it that can even be remotely considered redeemable. If I wanted to see hot Japanese girls in bikinis, I could have literally Googled it and saved myself that hour of my life that I'm never getting back. It honest to God feels like someone just filmed their goddamn vacation and then added a shark at the last two minutes so they could sell it as a movie. I can't imagine many people have seen this septic tank and it needs to just stay that way. But hey, the ending song's a banger.